be doing an unboxing and opening rather of uh, this Sunbeam coffee machine. I um, actually tried this machine at another person's place, actually one of my close friends place and uh, I was actually pleasantly surprised and impressed by the steam one. So I've currently got the DeLonghi the Dika machine and uh, that has uh, two component parts that you add to the steamer. However, you know, through continued use, I found that you can't actually get that sort of that silky smooth micro foamy type, uh, you know, with the milk when you foam it and steam it. And so I tried that machine and I was just like, wow, this actually does it much better than my DeLonghi. So I was like, okay, I need to get that machine. So there was a promotion, I think, going on at uh, Good Guys and I asked to reduce the price a bit more. So I picked this uh, machine up for about 174 I believe so yeah it's a good machine in fact it worked out to be cheaper than when I got my DeLonghi machine a while back I think I got that for like 190 something on special as well surprisingly but that was like in 2020 when I bought that so here we go let's uh, unbox this machine because uh, you know we want to enjoy you know Cafe style quality usual stuff that you get in the box. The uh, guide over here, which will be handy, so don't throw that out, especially uh, if you need to learn how to descale the machine. There's QR codes and stuff, so you can scan that for a quick guide. So the, uh, the plastic packaging is just stuck onto the side there. So be careful when you're unboxing this. But yeah, I was a long time DeLonghi user, but Again, I was wanting to upgrade my machine and uh, this seemed to be the right fit. So if you do have a coffee machine already, don't throw away your porter filter. You might find that you actually uh, could fit your porter filter into that because from what I understand, the basket that comes with this is not pressurized compared to the longy one which was. So this is the uh, porter filter that you guys get with this machine. A friend was using it and he actually didn't really like it for some reason, so I'll try it as well and see if there's actually that difference. As you can see, fresh out of the box, nice and shiny. But, uh, yeah, just wondering if this is actually easy to take off and clean. Because what you want to do each and every time you make your coffee is be able to take your basket off. Well, that actually does come off quite nicely as well. And this is for a two cup, this particular one. You got the, uh, I don't know if you can actually say, yeah, the two coffee drips out from the uh, two sections below. But yeah, two cup. So that's apparently the review given. I'll actually try it as well. I've also got the, uh, the measure, you know, the spoon measure to put the coffee in. Let's just unbox this. There we go. Uh, and I believe they give an extra sort of uh, accessories as well. So if you don't want the two cup, you want a one cup. So this is the uh, the spoon, and I guess you tamp with that side. Although you probably might want to upgrade and get yourself a proper tamp, and you can pick one up on a uh, online Amazon's a good spot to look at. Maybe just go to Good Guys. Hey, and there we go. So this is a single basket. So it says one cup. So the other one said two cup. This is one cup. And uh, we continue to unbox this thing. My goodness. There we go. Ah. Uh, and just making sure that there's nothing else in the box. Okay, now the main thing that you guys came here for, let's unbox this thing. Take it out. Oh, it's actually more stuff. Okay, so I've made sure the cord it's nice and safe as well, so it doesn't get damaged. It's another item over here. I wonder what this is about. Oh, oh look at that! So if you didn't have a, uh, if you didn't have a jug, Sunbeam gives you a jug. That's pretty cool. Looks very uh, similar to one I picked up a while back. So there you go. I can get the the other one on. I'll have it as a backup. There you go. We've got a nice. Uh, so let's come with it. Pretty cool. And now, let's see if we can open this one a little. There we go. 
And again, thank you guys for watching the, uh, the Eyes and Opka coffee machine video. That's like got 4.3k views or something, so really appreciate that. So thank you. At least one of my uh, videos is doing really well in terms of the normal videos. So yeah, but the other videos are picking up in views too. So I really appreciate each and every view there. So thank you guys. Uh, all right, just a few more things to unload over here. So I can see that the, uh, the water tank is at the back of the machine, over here. And I'm pretty sure this capacity is similar to what uh, you, you know normal coffee machines of this size have. So it definitely looks very similar to the DeLonghi de Dica. I'm guessing it's like, what, a litre or so of water. If you're a uh, prolific coffee drinker like myself, you'll be going through that type of water pretty quickly. So, you know, I have like easy two to three coffees a day on an all ordinary uh, basis, so yeah, let's uh, just continue to remove the other stuff from the machine so we can get this into a nice operational state. But yeah, like you don't have to spend too much on a coffee machine, I've found. Like the key actually is uh, grinding, having freshly grind, uh, ground coffee, I should say, you know, you can have like a cheapy even Enco Kmart coffee machine, but um, the key is actually having freshly ground coffee because that's going to elevate your coffee and they're going to be like, wow, that's actually uh, almost uh, that cafe quality. So at the top you will see uh, four buttons over there, so you've got your power button, you've got the one cup, two cup and you've got your steamer function, so when you want to steam your coffee you press that and then you move this dial to the uh, the steam function over. Uh, you've got this uh, sort of part down here, so this will catch you know your excess water and coffee and all that type of stuff. And it's got this uh, red part over here that'll pop up, it'll float up, and there's too much water in there, and that's like that sort of fail safe uh, mechanism telling you to you know clean this machine, although or clean that part at least. I, I do it at least every week or so, or when I notice that it starts to get a bit dirty, so. Uh, it also gives you directions and instructions on the side here, I believe. So, whilst it's on here, I'll just, yeah, how to make more than one latte cappuccino. So, it's got the instructions there as well. But, uh, yeah, that is this machine unboxed. So, keep watching and uh, let's make a coffee with this machine. So I've cleared up some space on my uh, counter over here. As you can see, I don't really have much space. So this type of machine is actually excellent for that. I can bring it out here, uh, use it and then pop it back uh, in the cupboard when I'm not using it. And of course, we'll be using industry beans today for the uh, coffee. Just put that over to the side over there. And now let's switch this thing on. Now we've got to put water in that. And I think my suggestion would be to um, have water maybe just pass through it a few times and uh, then start to make your coffee. And of course, if you want to see my review on the Sunbeam Toaster Cafe style, that's another video that I've also got. So yeah, we've got kind of a bit of a theme going over here. Although this uh, hot water kettle's from uh, Kmart. <laughs> I think it was a gift. Okay, we have now filled it with water. It's at the max line. And uh, what we'll do now is we'll get a cup and run maybe a few shots of water out to sort of uh, prime this machine. Okay, now let's switch that on. And what you have to do is uh, wait till these uh, lights stop flashing. So within what, 15 seconds there, it's done. All right, so now let's uh, run some water through it. So let's get one shot. Definitely a good idea to uh, run that water. I mean, obviously, they would have uh, tested each and every one of these machines uh, in the factory and stuff before they um, you know, sell these things. But it's a good idea to run that water. See, it looked a bit sort of murky just then, and that could just be just uh, dust build up or whatever. And now this one is a whole lot more cleaner. In fact, that's very clean now. But me being me, for good measure, we'll do that one more time. Try and see how this uh, non-pressurized basket works with that coffee over there. So what I've done is basically 
got a uh, scoop from that spoon over there from my industry beans coffee and then put it into here and just tape it off all right and we'll be putting it in now into the coffee machine this porter filter okay so i've put the porter filter in uh your what's it called handle would obviously start from this direction and then you sort of make it uh lock in sort of this direction anti-clockwise direction all right now what we'll do is uh put the cup under and hopefully just make sure that it's there lined up yes and then uh, I am going to press the single coffee, um, or should I press double? I think I'm going to need a uh, double shot here guys, so let's go. Okay. Alright, I'm pressing it for two over here. Alrighty. Well, so far so good. That is a uh, a lot of coffee over there, but then again, I did choose two. Well, I'm definitely uh, going to be nice and prepped uh, for the remainder of this afternoon. That's for sure. All right, that coffee is nice and warm as well. Wow. Okay. So now what we'll do? We'll also give it a bit of a stir as well. Oop! I spill it. Uh, that helps with the uh, taste. Just place that on top over there and then we can uh, steam some milk. Alright, so I will now, I've just put a little bit of milk in here because the cup's pretty much almost half full, this small cup. So when we press the steam button and then we put this on to steam. So my common uh, sort of gripe with the DeLonghi machine was, you know, it was fairly inconsistent in terms of getting, you know, the silky smooth uh, the milk. But I noticed with this one straight away, we were able to achieve that. Oh, there we go. And that is ready. So a good uh, method to use is um, just place a, uh, you know, a finger onto the, the jug and that'll tell you how warm it is right off the bat. And if it's too hot to the touch, that means it is uh, ready, your milk. Okay, so we'll just clean that. We'll obviously have uh, water running through this again. But now, we'll just... That. And now, okay. There we go. That was my little latte art there. It was actually quite fine. Uh, if I had probably put a little less uh, espresso in there, so if I only had one cup, it would have given me a lot more space in which to play with. But that is uh, cafe quality right there. Incredible. I suppose the only final part now is to actually see how this uh, coffee tastes. So let's go. My recommendations, definitely go for it. You don't need to break bank in making good coffee at home. The key is getting actually good uh, coffee beans and coffee grounds. So get something simple, it'll do the job and you can enjoy that uh, quality coffee at home.